There was a recent news story about the arrest of three employees of the private jail. The guys were lucky to make much more than $10 an hour, you know, because it's a for-profit jail. They were arrested for falsifying a cell check log. Apparently from the news report and statements from the sheriff, they made time entries in a log for checks that they did not do. If you read a little bit further and you will see it was the sheriff and not the private jail that was written up. You might wonder how that works. You see, it was revealed that while the private jail was not doing the paperwork, the sheriff was not doing the required checks at all. It's kind of curious the sheriff quote is saying, it's despicable what they reportedly did. Surely he was talking about the poorly paid private jail employees and not his Cracker Jack team. You know, the Cracker Jack team that was written up by the jail commission. See, the reason we know he was talking about the private jail employees is because he put them in jail. The sheriff, through his employee, assured the media the problem would be corrected immediately. It's a damn shame that it wasn't corrected before Mr. Renault died. How much liability does that expose taxpayers to? A day before an in-custody death, you're getting written up for not doing required check. Who's despicable? Then there's this little gem, a notarized statement by a sheriff's supervisor where he explains he shredded government documents. He didn't go to jail, he was promoted. Share the video if you think prosecution for violating the law should not be reserved for poor people. Share the video if you think taxpayers have been exposed to enough liability when the sheriff last lost the last lawsuit. 